Hey up everybody. Okay, I'm moving on to the next part of my micro lathe project, but it's also the next part of my gearing mechanism for my screw cutting gears for my lead screw. Uh, it's winter time now, I've got my diesel heater going, so my, my zoom mic on my camera might be honing into that. It tends to hone into that clicking for some reason. It's not actually that loud, but if it's clicking away, I'm, I apologise for that, but I can hardly hear it, but my camera seems to zoom into it. Anyway, I'm digressing. So, in previous part, then I, I went into a bit more in-depth explanation on what we're actually going to be doing here. Uh, it's, it's because of the geometry and because of the limited room that I've got and all the variations and combinations of gears that I need, it's a bit challenging really to get this um, to get this to work. So uh, take a look back at the previous part, and I'll I've explained what I'm going. I've explained in more detail what I'm doing here. So in this part, then I'm going to make a start making all the parts up. And to start with, I've got to take the spindle out and cut a keyway to drive the spindle uh, gear. And then I'll move on to other parts and uh, you know, we'll just play it by ear. But I ain't got no drawings for this, so I may find that you know when I make some of the parts up, I might have to slightly tweak them and slightly adjust them just to make sure everything works because I'm just like playing it by ear, really. I've gone into all my measurements and that and I think it should work okay, but we'll see. So uh, I'll crack on then. Okay then let's have a look where I'm faffing around at here. Uh, I've got my micro lathe set up in my mini lathe. Uh, it's, it's the only option I had because my milling machine's not got a deep enough um, throat on it to stand it up on an angle plate and machine this boss. So why do I want to machine this boss? Right, this boss here is cast into the casting of the lathe and it's not concentric with the uh, lead screw bush because it's a rough casting. I was going to fasten a plate onto here to house my quadrant that I shown you earlier uh, to clamp to pivot the quadrant on and to clamp it up solid once it's set for the gearing. Well two things really uh, this casting is not uh, machined up to fasten a plate to and then on top of that, if I put a plate in, be in between as an extra item it, uh, in between my quadrant and the lathe, I'm losing my space here. So what I thought of doing, I don't want to lose any more space because um, I'm very limited. Because this boss on the casting is not quite concentric to the bush which, ha which houses the lead screw, I want to take a skim on this boss. So this is the only way I can think of doing it really. So what I've done, I've packed I've packed my lathe up to the center height of the lead screw. I've clocked it up and got it on the axis of the lathe using my uh, lead screw with my dial test indicator. And then I've put this dial test indicator onto the known machine bush 
and got that set. So I've, I've packed it up with shims to get that the height that way and I've set my cross slide to get my distance that way to get it centralised and I'm within I'm within a couple of thou now that's about the best I can get it to, onto that bush so it's only a pivot point for my quadrant so it's not super critical uh, it's just going to pivot on this boss be clamped up once I've got the gearing set for me spit for me um, screw cutting feeds. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put me me boring head into the chuck, put a tool in, and I'm going to skim this boss on the casting concentric. Well, that's my plan. Sometimes plans don't work out, do they? But that's my plan so far. Well, I've managed to get that done successfully, that boss. It's, I've machined it down to 25mm for my quadrant to fit on when I make it. And then that'll be, be able to clamp in any position and be uh, centralised with the lead screw. Um, so that's my Myford Trilever, well I call it my mini lathe, machining his little brother in situ. So yeah, that's been successful. Uh, I think I'll call it a day for this video and continue with this in the next part, uh, making all quadrant up and, and everything etc. So uh, if you found that useful, informative, interesting, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. 
Uh, I'll sign off for now then and I'll catch you up next part to this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.